Hello guys and girls and welcome to my first video on C++ language. This is Akash Kaushik and I am going to cover the today introduction to C++. So, first of all I will tell you what is C++. C++ is a programming language. It was developed by Bazarnes Trostak in early 1980s. It was about 1983 or 1984. So, we call it early 1980s. It was developed at at and Bell Laboratories of USA. Now I have used it two terms programming plus language. So what is a language? A language is a way of way to communicate with each other like Hindi, English, Japanese we use to communicate with other peoples. What is a program? A program is a set or sequence of commands like we do any work and we write it in sequential form that is known to be as a program for example to copy a file the steps will be you have to select that file you have to right click then you have to click on copy then we have to go the location where you want to paste it then you have to again have to right click and click on the paste icon so this is the process verbally but if you write it in a sequential form it will become a program okay now I'm going to tell you the difference between computer language and machine language the language we use is known to be as high level language. Computer works on binary language or machine language or we call it also low level language. As all of us know that computer is an electronic device and its core level at its hard disk level all the data is stored in binary language 0 or 1 high or low. Everything in computer is stored in low level languages. 0 or high terms you can consider like uh, any electrical device like a fan. If you switch it on, it starts revolving when electric signals are going into it. When switched off, it will stop. In the same way, if electric pulses are going, computers understand only electric language. If electric signals are going, it will consider at one as one. And if electric signals are not going, it will be considered as zero. But a human being is not able to understand binary language. So the programming language we use are known to be as high level languages like java c c++ are called high level language code of these languages are written in english like languages okay next thing is language process as you know computer language is binary language and we are writing in high level language then how computer can understand high level languages the answer to this question are language processor we have three kind of language processor first one is assembler interpreter and compiler an assembler converts assembly language into machine language before the evolution of high level language uh, the language used to code are assembly languages high level language are pure english language but assembly language are english like languages for example for move we use mov we use synonym for every word for read you we use rd for write we use wt etc so assembler is used to convert assembly language into machine languages now for the after the evolution of high level language two converter are used interpreter and compiler interpreter converts high level language into low level language and vice versa and compiler perform also the same operation but there is a difference between these workings an interpreter perform conversion in line by line manner and notify if any error is detected and stop syncover. For example, if we are going to convert these code in using interpreter, then if first line is correct, it will convert it. In second line is convert, it will convert it. If third line contain an error, it will stop the conversion and notify the error. And further conversion will not be started until you rectify that error. But in case of compiler, it convert the whole program the whole code of this page will be converted one time and all the errors will be notified at the same time okay now let's proceed to c++ first of all we will discuss about the character set every language has its own character set for example in english we have a to z alphabets in hindi we have swar or vyanjan so in the same case, C++ has character set. Character set are character used to write a language. So in C++ you can use characters, 
कैपिटल कैरेक्टर ए टू जेड स्मॉल ए टू जेड डिजिट जीरो नाइन सम स्पेशल सिंबल्स वाइट स्पेसिस और यू कैन से ब्लैंक स्पेसिस न्यू लाइन कैरेक्टर यूज टू इंसर्ट इन न्यू लाइन एंड बिसाइड ऑल दिस वी हैव टू फिफ्टी सिक्स एस्काई कैरेक्टर एस्काई स्टैंड फॉर अमेरिकन स्टैंडर्ड कॉर्ड फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन इंटरचेंज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वट एस्काई इन डिटेल इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियोज ओके नेक्स्ट इज टॉकन्स एंड लैक्सिकल यूनिट्स when the compiler is processing the source code of a program each group of characters separated by white space is called a token that means every single word of c++ program is a token c++ will have five type of tokens we divide every word in five categories first one are keywords identifier literals or constant punctuator or separator and operator okay let discuss about keywords keywords also known as specially reserved words that can have a special meaning to compiler keywords have already reserved tasks and you can modify their task keyword are always typed in short lower short case uh, i am going to tell you one thing that c++ is a case sensitive language that means is it can sense the case for example if you write a word in capital case or small like i am writing here keywords in capitals and same keyword in small then it can identify the difference in both and it will treat both as a different word okay next here is a list of some keywords auto double in struct break calls etc we will go we will discuss all these keywords in our next videos when we will learn, when we will learn programming okay next token is identifier identifier the word was formed with identify identify means we use something to identify the name we use something to identify a thing identifier is a name given by the program to different block parts of a program to identify like in computer we give different names to our file song file video file folders your computer to identify the folders or the files in the same way in a program that programmer give different names to different blocks to identify them separately but we have some rules or convention for defining an identifier an identifier name can contain characters a to z small a to z digits 0 to 9 and only one special symbol called underscore and its first letter must to be a non digit that means you can use a to z or small a to z and underscore as the first letter of your identifier but you can't use 0 to 9 as a first letter no commas or blank space are allowed and c++ as i have already mentioned c++ is a case sensitive language so upper case and lower case character are different if you if you will declare a identifier with capital case and with a small case both identifier will be treated differently literals or constant literal and constant are those tokens whose values don't change during the program execution constant that means whose value will be fixed will not change we can divide constant in four parts first one is integer constant complete rounded off integer or numerical values for example 540 2 98 etc next one is real or float constant number that contain decimal point are called real or float constant for example 2.5 0.54 45.98 etc character constant is single character enclosed within single quotes are called character constant for example a enclosed in single quotes b enclosed in single quotes small d enclosed in single quotes etc okay for a single character we call this character constant but what about a group of character or a name a name or a group of character count is called string constant group of characters and closed within double quotes are called string literals for example programming within double quotes or language within double quotes programming and language are called string constant punctuator or separator our next token punctuator are used to separate tokens within a program for example to separate two or tokens we use space we use brackets we use square brackets round brackets colon semicolon 
comma etc all these are known to be as punctuator or separator that are used to divide a program into different blocks or to separate topics last token operator operators operate on some data to give results for example a plus b equal to c here a and b are our friends and plus is our operator that means we are going to operate the operation of addition on a and b and the result will be stored in c various type of operator in c++ arithmetic operator plus minus multiply divide remainder relational logical increment decrement operator condition operator etc we will discuss operator in depth later in unit 4 or my video 4 in operator and expression thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe and like and please do comment if you like my video or if you have any doubt you can contact me on my number it's my whatsapp number or you can mail me at dakashkumar@gmail.com thanks for watching my video